Hi YouTube, I just want to do make a video and show you this new update about um, getting another incubator and this is my second time the first time the incubator did not hatch anything unfortunately but uh, I'm hoping that this time I have some success and I have um, nine eggs in here as you can see I'll put it back down I have about two copper morans, um, buffer pingtons, uh, leghorn crossed with Easter egger, and um, a turkey necker. I don't know what it's called, Turkish neck. I'm not sure what it's called, but naked, naked neck. I think it's called naked neck. It's a chicken without any fur or fuzz or feathers on the neck. Um, it's a strange looking chicken, but I've heard that they are very good foragers and, um, and the person I bought my cuckoo morans from, sorry, black copper morans from gave me, um, a egg and I, I'm hatching it. So let's see. Um, so yeah, pretty much that's all I have. Um, what else do I have? I can't remember. Yeah, and there's other other eggs, and I think it's barred rock and maybe sex link crossed with a Easter egg or rooster. So um, uh, today is day fourteen, and I have one more week to go, so I will be posting. Um, whether I am successful in hatching these eggs and how does this um, auto egg incubator does um, there's lots of good reviews on Amazon about this incubator and I'm hoping I have some success um, last time I did not have any success um, the incubator that I had did not have great reviews it was about Seventy dollars. This one is about eighty-five dollars. Um, so it wasn't extremely cheap or anything. But and then the other reason I think I ha did not have success was because uh, I bought the eggs, the hatching eggs from eBay, and they were from Virginia. So they had to travel a long distance, and and you you know postal services. Um, they bound to throw the boxes or something and I'm not sure if that was the cause or what was the main thing but it did not work and this time I have my own rooster my own hens and all they have to travel is maybe like a hundred yards from the egg box to the incubator so I'm hoping that my hatch rate is high and um, and then this incubator has an auto turner so I don't have to touch the egg every single day so I'm hoping I am introducing less germs and bacteria um, and I hope that actually helps it uh, hatch or you know raise the percentage of hatching more so we will see soon one more week to go and I'll keep you guys posted Thanks for watching and please subscribe.